Uh, pro traveler hack, if you ever happen to be traveling. I forgot to bring my phone charger plug with me, but I bought the cable uh, just to save space. And I didn't bring my laptop charger with me because I'm only going for a day, which means I can't use my laptop to charge my phone because that battery will die. So, the TVs in most hotel rooms have USB ports. And when they're turned on, they will provide power to your phone, to whatever you're plugged into. It won't be much, but it's enough to charge your accessories. I currently have my phone plugged into the TV right now, just charging because it's an old school building and none of the power points have USB plugs in them. So if you ever need that, there you go. Use that one when you're traveling. So I am in a train on the way to Birmingham. Uh, that was going to be super exciting and I was going to go see my photo being exhibited at the photography show. However, the photography show got cancelled. Thank you, coronavirus. So instead, I am booking with some models. I'm going to go walk around with uh, Birmingham, see what photo opportunities there are. Um, I'm looking to just make the most of the experience. I already booked hotel rooms. I already booked train ticket. So we're going to make the most of it. We'll see how that turns out. seats to like the world. I got off at Birmingham International because I bought a ticket to Birmingham International Airport, train station thing. Turns out I need to go to Birmingham New Street which is the main street in Birmingham. So I'm now catching a bus to that. Public transport in the UK is so expensive. I paid £12 to get a taxi to the train station paid 22 tickets for a return ticket on the train. I've just paid five pounds for a ticket just on the buses, like a day pass on the buses. It is very expensive, holy shit. I'm heading out to a photo shoot. I got two photo shoots booked today. I'm trying to book some for tomorrow, but uh, I'm excited. Finally made it to Birmingham, the city centre. A little bit about Birmingham. Birmingham was established as a very small market town originally. It then became basically the industrial centre of the UK for a while. So for many, many years they had a lot of tradespeople and it became a, a centre for that. It's the second largest city in the UK. There's about 1.1 million people that live within the city and then about three point something to live in the metropolitan area. Big city. But yeah, let's go explore for a little bit. I'm on the middle of my photo shoot. We, uh, we're on a rooftop in, where are we? Um, city centre. City centre of Birmingham. There we go. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Freedom. I'm an upcoming model and I'm here for a photo shoot today. <laughs> oh yeah, we're making it look good. Not like it's hard. Oh, I'm Jack. I'm Freedom's friend. This is Jack. This is Freedom's friend. What do you do, Jack? Uh, I like physics. Jack likes physics. That's cool. What do you do? You do physics. Yeah, Are you studying I, at a... Physics, mass, chemistry. Oh damn, science for the win. <laughs> anyway, we're back back on to um, art. So, getting some pretty views. Let's take a, have a look out here. Look at Big old rooftop. And nothing around, except for some beautiful people. Us. <laughs> <laughs> we're having some fun. Anyway, let's get back to it.
So, photo shoot number one done. That went really well. The lighting's gorgeous, everything worked out really good. But the second photo shoot I had booked canceled on me. So now coronavirus has gotten in the way of two things that I have booked this weekend. Fucking stupid coronavirus bullshit. So now I've got to find something else to do. I'm gonna charge up my camera, somehow find where my hotel is. I'm very lost. I don't know where I am. We're gonna get that out of the way. Gonna get some food, get some coffee, get a recharge. See if I can find some more shoots and enjoy the rest of the day. Filled up, got some charge in my battery. Just shooting heaps and heaps of B-roll around Birmingham now. Still waiting on another booking or something else to do. So instead I'm gonna walk to the Town Hall and Museum and check out the museum. And see if we can get some nice pretty B-roll of uh, some museum stuff. Turns out that it's really hard to vlog in a museum because everything's so quiet. I just don't want to make any noise. I feel rude. Okay, I'm lost. I don't know where I've gone. So, next up on Jordan's itinerary of things we're going to go see in Birmingham, there is a place called the Jewelry District, which, well, it's a district where they used to make a lot of jewelry. So, it's pretty straightforward naming. Uh, but we're gonna go see that. We're gonna go see the Jewelry District, see if apparently the uh, buildings are pretty well preserved. So we'll see what that looks like. It should be pretty cool. It started out like a movie scene. Something This is further than I thought it would be. So, uh, supposedly this is the district now. Um, I was under the impression it would be a little more spectacular, there'd be more. I mean, they're kind of cute, but... Okay, so, I'm getting tired, I want to go eat, I'm going to lay down, so I'm going to head back to my hotel, and then we're going to keep going tomorrow, see what else Birmingham has to offer. Let's just skip this until we get back, okay, you ready? Three, two, one, and we are at the hotel. Welcome. So, welcome to uh, Colesill. Col Col if you're from Birmingham, you pronounce it Colesill, it's Coles Hill. Coles Hill. 
Coles Hill. It's a pretty boring journey, so I'm not really upset that we didn't show all that. It's been a long day. Uh, I'm nearly ready for some sleep. I think it's time to unwind and relax. Uh, I'm going to have a shower, get changed, get comfortable, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay guys, uh, I'm all clean, ready for bed, uh, but tomorrow is a new day. See you tomorrow ladies and gents. So I just discovered that the hotel has breakfast on this morning, so I am definitely going to get some breakfast. I'm just going to find out where it is. So, uh, let's go do that. So we found the breakfast. It's cute, we've got little pasty jam, toast and stuff. Ready for breakfast. Okay, so let's go check out. For today's itinerary, we are going to just explore more of Birmingham. I don't know specifically what I'm going to look at, but there'll be some things. Let's get on to it. So my booking cancelled again. Two cancellations in two days. This one wasn't coronavirus, her grandfather fell over the stairs. So that's sad. Uh, hopefully her grandfather's getting better. So now I've got to find something else to do today. Um, we will see. Where we started from Ended up in a custom factory in the, in Birmingham, and uh, just walking around trying to find something cool. And oh god, there it is! You can hear it. <laughs> I'm just walking around, and there's this noise, and I'm like, oh god, I've got to go see that. So it turns out that because St. Patrick stays this week, uh, there's the oldest pub in Birmingham, which is called the the Old Crown. It was founded like 13 something. Uh, Doing a St. Patrick's Day party. Five pound entry? Fuck yeah, I'm in on that. Let's do that. Now we're getting somewhere. <sighs> I went to the St. Patrick's Day party. St. Patrick's Day party was good. St. Patrick's Day party was too good. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, St. Patrick's Day party was fun, but uh, I am done skis with that. Time to head home now. Um, Made it back to Birmingham train station, Birmingham International train station, um, and I'm now gonna catch a train back to Bletchley and then go home. That'll be the end of my Birmingham trip, so it was fun, it was fun, it was all right. Uh, kind of a pain in the ass when you have two cancellations out of three bookings, but eh, you know, it happens, right? That's the world of being a photographer. So hopefully next time I head out to a city, I'll be able to get more bookings than that and uh, we'll all be good. But uh, anyway guys, for now, y'all have a good day.